Welcome back everybody, Adam Solowitz here. Today is episode 8 of the Quarantine Cookbook. We're going to be making Lomi Lomi Salmon. You must be wondering what is in that box in front of you. Well, Schooner Bay Salmon. out to me recently and wanted to know if I'd like to use their product in one of my videos and of course I said hell yes. Schooner Bay is an amazing product. It is a sustainably raised salmon off Vancouver Island and it's just so good. I've been using them for about five years now at multiple properties. Uh, most recently at the Omni La Costa Resort and Spa in Carlsbad, California, where we use it for Lomi Lomi salmon and other various salmon dishes. And I'll post a link to the resort in the description. So I'm a big proponent of sustainability and Schooner Bay just screams sustainable. If you want to know more about Schooner Bay, I'm going to post a link to their website in the description of the video. Like I said, today we're going to be making Lomi Lomi Salmon, or not so traditional Lomi Lomi Salmon. Lomi Lomi Salmon is a Hawaiian dish, and it's a cured salmon dish. So let's get going on making the cure. So now that we have the salmon ready to go, what we're going to do is we're going to cure the salmon in salt. We're going to cure the salmon for about eight hours or overnight. It really depends on the thickness of the salmon. So I'm going to cut it into a little bit more manageable pieces. So I'm going to cut it in half, just like so. And I have some kosher salt here, and I have a sheet pan. And I'm going to sprinkle the salt on the bottom of the pan, just like so. I'm going to place the salmon right on it. And then I'm going to cover in salt, just like so. We're going to take some of that excess salt from the bottom and just pat it on top. Again, we're going to let this cure eight hours to overnight. The salmon is going to leach water because the salt is going to pull the water out as it's curing, and that's okay. During the process, we can dump some of that excess water out as it's going. And that is it. So I'm going to wrap this up in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. Okay, now that the salmon is curing, we have some Chinese forbidden black rice. And we're going to be making a sushi rice out of this using vinegar and sugar. So let's get to cooking the sushi rice. And we're going to start on the sushi rice and one cup of the black rice right into the pot there. One and three quarter cups of water. So we're going to bring this to a boil and once it comes to a boil we'll turn it down on low heat, put the top on and let it steam right up. While the rice is cooking, we're gonna make the vinegar and sugar mixture for the sushi rice. Okay, for the vinegar mixture, calls for half a cup of rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar. So we're gonna give that a little stir, a pinch of salt, and cook it until the sugar dissolves into the vinegar. Okay, now that the rice is cooked, we have a sheet pan here, and we're gonna lay down the black rice for it to cool. And then we're gonna spread it evenly. We're just gonna let that rice cool for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, now that the rice is almost cooled, we're gonna start seasoning the rice with the vinegar mixture, just a little bit at a time so we don't over season it. Give it a good toss, check for seasoning, and that is perfect, good to go. Now let's get going on the rest of the Lomi Lomi. Okay, now that the rice is done cooking and that we seasoned it with the vinegar and sugar, we have our cured salmon. And using movie magic, it's done. Now, started this one yesterday, cured for about eight hours. That's all it took, because as you can see, it's a thin cut salmon filet. Took it out of the refrigerator, washed the salt cure off both sides, and we're ready to go. So, let's get to plating this Lomi Lomi salmon.
are Scuda Bay Lomi Lomi Salmon and not your traditional Lomi Lomi Salmon. So traditionally, Lomi Lomi Salmon has onion, tomato, and cured salmon. But today, we made it with sweet onion, red onion, cherry tomatoes, yellow and red, chili oil, and our Chinese forbidden black sushi rice. And what makes this even better is that we use Schooner Bay salmon. Schooner Bay, in my opinion, is so buttery, so rich, and so good. And then when you pair it with the sweet sushi rice and the acidity of the tomatoes, this dish is absolutely killer. Highly recommended. Big shout out to Schooner Bay for sending me the fish to work with for episode eight of the Quarantine Cookbook. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. And again, a link to Schooner Bay is gonna be in the description of the video. And as always, my name is Adam Solowitz. Eat well. I'm gonna eat this. Oh yeah, perfect. My mouth is not that big. I don't care.